Before we get started in today's video, I would like to thank some people for their comments. Karen, she is a new subby and lives in Australia. Stephanie B. Studio, she told me she has a cockatiel. Mari lives in Italy. Sonia, she her comment was so lovely. She says she loves to watch my creative process unfold. She said it's beautiful magic. Thank you. That is just so wonderful. Uh, Donna also lives in Australia. Uh, Linda lives in Canada. Uh, this gal, now a uh, Sarah, Saria, Saria. She lives in Mesa, Arizona. Sorry, I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, Rhonda wanted to know about my lazy Susan in my craft room. Uh, and then Kim, that was a nice comment. Um, she commented on my craft room tour. She's a home organizer and she said that she really enjoyed my organization. Here's some pictures of Rachel, Sarah, and Juju's class. That's Rachel in the middle there. And then Helen is on the left. She lives in Perth, Australia. She's also a nurse, and I met her in Italy last year when we were on our tour there. And then Christina from Christina Creates. That's Vicki, and the fun thing about Vicki is she ran up to me at the beginning of the class and said, I watch your YouTube channel, and oh my gosh, I almost started crying. It made me so happy. I also have to give a shout out to Lisa and Carol, who also came up and told me they watched my channel. That's my little corner there in the bottom of that previous picture. You can see they laid out a lot of things for us to use during the class. Lots of threads and fabrics and laces. And then there was a table set up with all of Rachel, Sarah, and Juju's work. And then here is Zoe giving us a idea of how the day will flow during the class. Zoe owns Green Door Studios. So this is where Green Door Studio holds their classes and it's in Robertson, New South Wales. It's absolutely gorgeous little town. The studio is fantastic. Just going to walk through here. Looks like everybody has gone indoors after lunch. Look at that. Isn't that a fun building and fun window? And so that's the studio up ahead. And Zoe served us a lovely lunch. It was a chorizo and I believe cheese quiche with a lovely broccoli and lettuce salad. But look at this. So you're able to sit out here and have a, a lovely lunch or come out and have a, a cuppa, cup of tea. And that is the resident dog who is absolutely very friendly and just comes up for pets, wants to be loved. There's Rachel. Wave to the camera, Rachel. I'm eating flirt cake. 
Okay. <laughs> what is Fleur cake? That is really yummy. What is it? What is Fleur? I don't know. It's got cake and, and jam in it. Ooh, I'm going to have to get some. It's like crumbly cake. Really Ooh, nice. I'm going to go get some. Here's a picture of what has been termed Fleur cake. So here's a picture of what was on the table for me to use for my journal class. So many of you know that I actually did two classes while I was in Australia. My first one was on March the 3rd, and that was a slow stitch journal class put on by Rachel, Sarah, and Juju from Roxy Creations. And at each of our tables, they had set up several packs. And one of the pack had an old vintage book that you would sew in some slow stitch pieces. And I've done some of mine where I'm going to have pockets, like that's a little tuck spot pocket. I've added a little bit of lace here. This is going to flip out. Um, let's see, that's my center page. And then here I've got a little pocket here. And so that's going to be my book. And then they included a pack of various things, some buttons, French laundry labels, suffix puffs, all kinds of fabrics, doilies, pieces of doilies. And like I said, a lot of different fabrics. There was also quite a bit of lace in this pack, uh, but I've already used it for Fleur Woods class. And then they also had another pack of supplies which i haven't opened yet that's a beautiful it was looks like it was printed on it's a bird printed on fabric this is kind of a trademark of rachel her little bunny uh, a needle threader small little doily pieces of cross stitch and embroidery work pieces of lace very beautiful put together pack and then also a piece of Italian uh, vintage hemp. So that was for the class for Rachel, Shara, Rachel, Sarah, and Juju's class. Now, unfortunately, this is all I've done on this project from my first class but what's so good about a project like this is i can slip this book into this bag it can set in my to-do pile and if i'm going on a trip or going to be sitting in a doctor's office for a while or whatever i can just take this with me with a few needles and threads and work on it. Now, the next class was a class by Fleur Woods, and it was from March the 4th through the 8th. Fleur has written a beautiful book. That's Fleur right there. And I bought her book and she inscribed it for me. I recommend that if you are into textiles and slow stitching, that you do go over and purchase Fleur's book. I can't, can't wait to dive into it really deeply and read a lot of it just to get inspiration. Look at all of that fine, fine needlework there. I do want to show you if I can come across it real quick. 
the piece that inspired us, this one right here. This is what inspired us and what we worked on at her class. But that's Fleur's book. And I did purchase a few things from Fleur while I was there. One is this hand-dyed pack of textiles that I'll be able to use. I'm not going to open it. It's got lace, trims, doilies, looks like some tatting, some cross stitch there. So I purchased that and then she had a good uh, array of different kinds of yarns that she has hand dyed. I picked up some of those. And then while we were in the class, she would just come by and toss something on your table and say, can you use that? People were extremely generous during the class. And I'll just share with you some of the things that people um, gave us. So Dale Marie Designs, she came around a lot and gave us many, many things. I'm going to go hold her card up there. Um, she gave us each one of those buttons. She gave us uh, some of these. I thought these were beautiful. She said these are actual real beetle beetle wings. But look at how beautiful that coloring is. So that was from Dale. And then Juju had made uh, one of these and she said, do you want it? And I go, absolutely. I think this is from a eucalyptus tree. And then she crocheted this all around it. Isn't that pretty? So if I do a project with some orange, I will definitely use that. This was from my friend, Helen, some pieces of doily. And then I apologize, but I can't remember who gave us these. It's an origami paper bird. And isn't that cute? And then my friend Vicky gave each of us one of these packs. It's got button, buttons and a little bit of lace. I'm going to pull out Vicky's card so you can take a look at it. She is Vicky Lee Chick on Instagram. Uh, I showed a picture of her where she's the gal that said to me, I watch your channel all the time. You know, that brought tears to my eyes. And then Christine from Create and Craft with Christine YouTube channel gave me this. And isn't this beautiful? So this is all stitch, hand stitch. And what happened is we were sitting at the table and she had heard overheard me say I loved the color green it's one of my favorite colors so she brought this to me and look at it so it's got this little bit of a side tuck and look at all of these threads in here that she gave me and I believe she hand dyed these what did she say she uses in oh Durwood's Insta Ink or something like that? But look at all these beautiful threads that she included. And then some beautiful buttons, green buttons. Oh, can't wait to use those. And then this just undoes like that and then 
she put French laundry labels, love, CO. This is some cross stitching here. And then she included some fabric here. So again, this is a nice little thing to have that you can just put some projects in, pop it in a, a suitcase or something, and off you go to be able to stitch. So thanks, Christine. And then one day we came to class and Fleur had put one of these pretty little hearts with all these different threads on our table and then a, a pretty note, a nice note. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then I have to tell you about this gal. She is a very humble person. So it was toward the end of our class, Fleur's, Fleur's class, Carrie Bruce Art, very humble person, but here <laughs> she's quite talented herself with her pan painting. And she didn't show us these little brochures until the end of our retreat. So Carrie Bruce underscore art. So those are my gifts from people at the retreat. So this is now the start of the second class I'm at, a retreat with Fleur Woods. And look at this lovely box and oh, look at the needles and the scissors. And the, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. I'm so excited about this class. What a fantastic opportunity. And then as we, I back up, there's Juju. Hello. Hey, hello, there's Juju, Rachel's mom. Yes. And then Rachel and Sarah are way back in the back, back there. So this is Fleur telling us about the class and what she hopes for us to accomplish. And then... Here are just some pictures of Fleur's work and the intensity of her design and her imagination and her use of textiles, fibers, threads, clay, stitching, it's just so inspiring and it was wonderful to learn a new art form. I told Fleur that I'm hooked, that the piece that I do here at this workshop is not going to be my last because it is so relaxing and calming to my inner soul. Next are some pictures of my work and the start of it, then some clay pieces, and then as I progressed, as the retreat went on, doing lots of stitching and layering every single day. So underneath this box of goodies is my piece that I'm working on. Well, like Rachel said, it's a work in progress, never ending, but that's the fun part of it. It's been an absolutely fantastic class. Okay, show us. Rachel, show us what you're adding. That. Oh, look at. Okay. Oh. Oh, yes. And I have to ask Christine if I can have it. That's beautiful. I didn't put yes. it on quite as well, yes. but anyway. That's going to be good. Yeah. That's going to be good.
But I'm gonna go around here and I'll show you Sarah's. Amazing piece. Look at that. Oh! Hey! And Gigi's hiding! We're having the best time, as you can tell. Look at that. Oh, I know what I need to do. Look at I this. need to photograph what I owe Fleur because I need to get the hat. Here's some examples of some of the work that's been done. It's bit of bling bling. Bit with the uh, yeah. coral. It's just a one piece. It's good. Great. Yes. And let show us yours, Juju. These are mats. Yes, lovely. And here's our workroom. Oh, look, Wynette. Hi, Wynette. You're on video. Oh. Hi. And there's Rachie. <laughs> and Juju's hiding. Now we have some acrobatics from our very own Rachel from Roxy Creations. As you can see, we had a lot of fun during the class and the whole retreat. That was too funny. There's a picture of Rachel, Fleur, and Sarah. And then a picture of Juju, Rachel, Fleur, and Sarah. To show you a close-up of my Fleur Woods piece, I'm going to just move it around the camera at a very close distance. Now, these right here, here, and here, and then over here in a couple of other spaces is the clay pieces that we made. And she encouraged us to use all different kinds of shapes and sizes and just let our minds go and be creative. And that's what those are. And then they're sewn on with a bead in there. There's tons of different layers. You can see this is a um, wooden ball and I've got one here and it's covered with some lace. And then here, these are the wooden disc or circular things, and they're covered with threads. And let's see, we've got some beading down in here, more beads through there. Lots and lots of layers of fabrics and textiles some lace over here this is another bead that i did some bullion knots over it and that's that bead lots of beading even here she encouraged us to put beads over the top of something I've got laces here. These right here, these were given to us by Dale. I told you about Dale. And that's these. They're just plastic straws that we cut up and then wrapped with thread. This is just a little ball of some fluffy stuff. This is another piece of my clay and then I tucked it in between a bunch of fabric, layered more trims and stuff on there, put a bead in there. Here's some turkey work there. Here I've got some Tatting again, another one of those wooden beads, but only with a small amount of 
thread wrapped around it. Again, one of my clay pieces with some beading. Here comes the dogs. These beads right here, I think I bought them at uh, Lynn Craft or Spotlight. I have another one of the wooden beads covered here with some lace. I put vintage lace around this bottom piece right here. And then this was given to me by Christine. This piece here. This was given to me by Fleur. It was laying on the table and you can see it's going to hang down nicely. So if you just look real close, there's like a bead stuck in here. It's just, it, it was so much fun to make and so many different layers and what have you. And I think I'm going to have to lift the camera up. I may have to restart this and start it over again. Because if it's too wobbly, I don't want you guys to get kind of seasick. Now here is the piece completely finished. And what I did for the back, I'm just going to flip it over. I put some lace on the back. I know Fleur keeps hers a little bit more of the stitching to show. And then I put just a tiny bit of trim so that I can hang it on my wall in my craft room. But that's how it's going to lay like that. Thank you so much, Fleur, for introducing me into a new way to use textiles and threads and fabrics and lace and to do uh, needle punching. It was such a fantastic class. So here's my piece hanging up in my craft room for me to view every day as I come in here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you guys again soon. Thanks and bye-bye.